We are continuing to scrutinize Pat Murray's podcast, um, which uh, happened on LMFM. It was hosted by, as you can see here, Jerry Kelly. Um, and Pat Murray was doing the rounds. He's promoting uh, the, his new book written in association with uh, mainstream journalist Robin Schiller. And uh, we've renamed the book, it's, um, How to Make Money from Your Mother friend and colleague. Mari is doing the rounds and we are scrutinizing what he's saying and we're showing you the public that Pat Mari is telling lies, quite clearly telling lies and making stuff up as he goes along. We are showing that Pat Mari is misleading the public with his uh, terrible rhetoric about information and details involved in the investigation on the case. And obviously we're highlighting uh, the glaring omissions from uh, this pathetic piece of literature. We are looking at initially this podcast with LMFM because LMFM is a local radio station here. It covers, uh, obviously, Dundalk, uh, Cooley Peninsula and this area where Detective Guard Adrian Donoghue worked and lived. And obviously, it's covering the area where Detective Guard Adrian Donoghue uh, lost his life at um, Lordship Credit Union. And we will highlight again, and we'll mention this as we go along uh, critiquing this podcast, LMFM should have some accountability uh, when it comes to uh, bringing guests on who are promoting and looking for sales of any goods, books or services. Um, fictional books are, uh, I would say, okay. Nothing needs to be checked. But LMFM have the researchers and they are fully aware of the glaring, uh, shall we say, issues and problems with Aaron's conviction. And yet, they allow Mary to waltz on here. Um, and anyone who has listened to this egotistical um, clap trap by this man is um, will know that not one question of any substance was put to him by uh, Mr. Kelly. And... Uh, Again, if it's a case that uh, LMFM have done absolutely no research whatsoever, uh, well, that's just a professional malpractice. And if they're willing to sit back and ignore uh, the very um, existence of the Justice for Aaron Brady campaign, where we are calling into doubt uh, all of the information put forward by this man, uh, there's something seriously wrong if they're just sitting back and allowing that to happen. And of course, if they are sitting back and allowing that to happen, it begs the question, uh, if the Brady campaign was saying something wrong or telling lies, it would have been a perfect platform for Jerry Kelly to say to Mary, uh, this is what these people are saying, the Justice for Aaron Brady campaign, saying this uh, man was six foot one or two, uh, Aaron Brady's only five foot seven. There was a woman driving the getaway car. The car was grey. It wasn't blue. All these issues. Just one question could have been put to him. And yet nothing. But what we're going to look at now in this little video is Mary's, um, again, rhetoric about the gang. So we know about uh, this fictional gang that was allegedly created by Pat Mary and the DPP. Uh, Pat Mary and uh, Sergeant John Maroney in particular created this gang initially and we have proven without any shadow of a doubt this gang or uh, that was allegedly involved in the more than robbery at Lodge of Credit Union and allegedly this gang that Aaron Brady was involved with simply doesn't exist. It is complete and other fiction. It is the narrative created by Pat Mary, Sergeant John Maroney, and whoever was willing to help him in the incident room Fort Apache Dundalk after, immediately after the murder and robbery. We've seen these headlines here before, and this is from very early on when the Sunday World and other newspapers carried this um, pictures of the five-man gang. And obviously, even in this picture, the red flags have been raised right away because you have a silhouette there of nobody. There wasn't even a five-person gang at the very beginning. So the whole issue about the gang is a total load of 
a complete bullshit by Pat Murray. Now we have created, now this is only 12 of the videos. We have created uh, other videos in relation to the fictional gang. And I'll put the links to all these videos just below uh, this video here. And anyone, where well, you're more than welcome, go have a look at any of the videos and any of the information in the videos that um, you would like to question, please feel free to do so. But all of those 12 videos, this video will show quite clearly that there is no gang that can be linked to Aaron Brady in respect of anything that happened at Lordship Credit Union. And indeed, uh, we do know, and Pat, we will be covering it in more detail a little bit on this podcast and more specifically in Mary's book about the acquittal of James Flynn and Brendan Trainer from having any, totally acquitted from having any involvement in the more than robbery at Lordship Credit Union on Friday the 25th of January uh, 2013. So um, Pat Mary's assertion about uh, a gang is simply and totally pathetic. But what I do want to do is, now we're just going to listen, I think it's only 20 seconds, and just let's have a little listen to what um, Pat Mary says in relation to the five-man gang. So we listen to that now. Um, you know, there are others. I know the five involved. I know them. Like I know their names. I know the whole lot. But will the others ever be brought to justice? Quite possibly not. So there we have it, folks. The super sleuth knows the five. He knows all about them. He knows everything about the gang who murdered Detective Guard Adrian Donahue, his friend and colleague. One very, very simple question that can be asked, uh, it could be asked retrospectively by the likes of LMFM, it could be asked, and hopefully any of the other news stations or radio stations or podcasts is going to listen to more of this man, just asked a very simple question. Have How many people have been interviewed under caution for the murder of Detective Guard Adrian Donahue? Now, from what we can ascertain and from what I can see from the uh, the records and what we've seen, the statements we have seen. Now, there were four or 5,000 people questioned and um, people are going along the road. Did you see this? Did you see that? Did you see anything? But obviously, Pat Murray knew who these five people were. And I just want to draw your attention to the absolute nonsense in relation to the gang. I can bring this up. There we go. Um, man in the 60s arrested in connection with the murder of Gary Adrian Donahue. And this man was arrested at the same time Aaron was arrested back in 2018. Um, again, I think he was held for four or five days. Question. That's six years ago. And they were questioning this man here, a 60-year-old man in the 60s, who wasn't even speaking to any of the young lads at, at, in 2013. Absolutely no communication whatsoever. So I think this sinister move in 2018 to arrest this man uh, with Aaron at, in around the same time as Aaron uh, highlights once again the depths of depravity these people would go to to create a fictional story. Now, this man here can't be counted as one of the five. He's in his 60s. I uh, believe he is uh, half a leg missing. So therefore, he's not one of the raiders who ran through the yard, jumped across the wall, and um, either attacked the guard car or attacked the two credit union cars. But apart from this man here, I do not believe that Pat Murray uh, and the Irish authorities actually interviewed, arrested, interviewed, or cautioned uh, more, more than three people, possibly four possibly for um, for the murder of Detective Gary Adrian Dunning. So again, there's either a very, very serious um, malpractice in respect of Pat Murray knowing who the five people are and not questioning five people on the caution. Or he's making up a load of lies. So as I say again, all this nonsense and the mainstream media and Pat Murray going round spouting about knowing the five people who are involved in the modern robbery, not a word about it. 
all lies, Pat Murray. More bullshit that is totally unsubstantiated and, in fact, the evidence suggests very strongly and the evidence is clear that there was no gang connected with Aaron Brady that had anything to do with the more than robbery at Lordship Credit Union. And again, I think it's only a 10 or 15 minute, or 10 or 15 second clip from LMFM and it goes to the heart of the whole uh, investigation and obviously the gang that committed the more than robbery. And there we have Mary, they haven't even questioned five people on the caution. It's a complete and total disgrace. And I will say once again, it is a total defamation of the memory of Detective Guard Adrian Donahue. And to have this man going around the country uh, promoting this uh, horrible, horrible book to make money uh, on the death of his colleague, it's just, it's beyond disgusting. But there is more of this to come, unfortunately, and we haven't even touched the book yet. And we're continually getting people giving us clips from it and asking, is this true? Is that true? Is that possible? Some of the stuff he has in the book is just, uh, if it is correct, what people's telling us is absolutely crazy. So we will continue. We, we're a long way from finished with uh, LMFM. There is no gang. Pat Murray's telling lies or else his uh, much publicised uh, detective work uh, falls very short if he doesn't know the difference between three, four and five. Uh, once again, thank you. And we'll be back very shortly with another video uh, looking at the podcast Pat Murray uh, with Jerry Kelly on LMFM. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you.